Alright, so this is the number one fuel injector that I have probed on the scope. Uh, you see where the A is in the bottom left, that's zero volts. The high constant line is should be around 12 volts when the injector is turned on. It is actually switched on the ground side, which is why you see the voltage drop. And then that's basically the injector being turned on and then the spike as it is shut off. You should see the width of the on time increase as I get on the throttle. So I just hit the throttle and then let off the throttle. Pretty cool. Of course, the RPM gets a little higher than the frequency of pulses increases, and then you start to see the the next cylinder fire of the, or the next uh, pulsing of the number one cylinder on the on the same screen. That's a. I've only got one injector being looked at on the scope right now, so if I get on the throttle, you start to see the next time that cylinder is injected fuel there. Because safety first, <laughs> doing this and driving at the same time. Uh, yeah. One thing that's interesting that you'll notice is if I really get on the throttle, See how the percentage of on time on the injector between the two fires? It's one full engine cycle every time that injector fires. It's one full uh, engine cycle, all four strokes, uh, intake, compression, fire, exhaust. And if you notice when I really romped on it there, that the amount of on time for that injector was over 50% on time. So that's covering a couple strokes there. See that? That that injector is firing most of the time when I romp on it. That's pretty cool. Interesting anyway. The intake valve isn't even open for a lot of that time. That's it. Go figure that. So it's spraying fuel yeah, <laughs> while that in, while that intake valve is closed. Anyway, thanks for watching. So I figured I should probably uh, explain for those of you who aren't aware, real quick, a little bit about how to read the oscilloscope here. Um, the y-axis or the vertical axis. Um, every horizontal line drawn across the screen is showing uh, 10 more volts. So. That would be 0 volts, uh, 10 volts, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Um, the the x-axis or the horizontal axis um, is the time scale. Uh, it's showing that every vertical line drawn is 5 milliseconds as it shows right there. So, so from here to there, that's about 5 milliseconds and then 10, 15, 20, and so on. So the y-axis uh, is divided by 10 volts um, so 0 10 20 30 and the uh, x-axis is showing 5 milliseconds of time so uh, 5 10 15 and so on so anyway you can see um, you can kind of get an idea just how long the injectors are being uh, sprayed for as a 10 millisecond pulse there it jumped up to and as a 15 millisecond pulse and then you can even see how long it takes for the engine to complete a revolution you can count those lines I'll let you count them maybe you can pause them uh, so can't do it easy when I'm looking at it this way anyhow you get the idea so uh, again thanks for watching